This was taken on a standard DSLR with 6K resolution. What do you think a 360 degree 24K resolution camera will look like? With the popularity of the 30 days time lapse, I want to do a 360 version. There's just one problem. All the commercial 360 cameras aren't full frame sensor, meaning that it doesn't do well in low light and I need low light. So the solution is to custom build my own. Holy crap, that's expensive. Camera, check. I need wide angle lenses to get a good amount of overlap that is needed to seamlessly stitch a 360 degree photo. Fisheye lens are perfect. Four Nikon together, each taking 6K photos. Stitched together, we get 24K resolution. Custom camera mount to hold the four camera in place. So how many battery you want? Yes. I need to be able to keep the camera powered and firing without being interrupted. The solution here is that power banks providing power to an external battery that's hooked up to a dummy battery inside the camera. This way we can hot swap power without shutting down the camera. How many memory card do you need? Yes. Eight cards for four cameras. Dual SD card slot, so I can hot swap the cards when one of them gets full. I need the camera to all fire at exactly the same time, at the same interval, so I connected them through a trigger box onto one single intervalometer. An Android phone to connect and synchronize all four camera settings. The phone's port is used up to connect to the camera. I need a way to power the phone while it's charging. An enemy of my enemy is my friend. Here, water is the enemy and my friends are pelican cakes, hot glue, silicone sealant, plastic bags, and gaffer tape. Pelican case to store everything and make the cables watertight. Ventilation.
aluminum wrapped to resist the hot condition. A plastic bag as a raincoat with the lens cut out and taped down. I wrap them all in gaffer tape to help resist water if the plastic bag breaks. I know what you're thinking. Jeff, why go so far? The whole thing costs about 10k and whatever photos you make, you won't make enough to cover for it. And Yes, yes, you're right. I sometimes sell time lapses, still images, videos to companies, and it doesn't really cover for all the gear and cameras that I buy. But take a look at the comment section. After 18 million views, there's a lot of gratitude and joy that's been expressed. All the appreciation and support I've received. As cliche and cheesy as it sounds, I can't put a price on it, and I'm deeply, deeply grateful to all my audiences. You guys are really supportive and encouraging towards my video work. I read almost every single comment and you won't believe how many comments I've received saying that it helped them through rough times, depression, or even suicidal thoughts. The idea that my time lapse may have helped, saved, or inspired someone's life is just mind blowing. The time lapse is appreciated. People want more, so I make more. So hit that subscribe button bell notification and stay tuned, more will be coming.